chosen ones, empaths, you see, I know that we shouldn't want to make the narcissist come back in our life, but it's a nice feeling knowing that they want to get back in. So I want to set out some guidelines, so to speak, for why the narcissist will want to try to be back in your life, how to make them come, want to be back in your life. Because honestly speaking, post-discard or post after you've cut them off because they pushed you too far, we honestly do everything wrong. And the first thing that we do wrong is we try to fix things, okay? So the first thing that I'd say is don't try and fix things. There's nothing broken. There's nothing broken at all, right? And you trying to fix things only makes them go further away, okay? There's another thing that you need to let sink in. If they've discarded you or you've cut them off because they've gone too far and you've seen them go with new supplies, you need to let them go. You need to let them wander. You need to let them go into the world without you alone. And only then they'll realize what it is that you brought to the table. You know, letting them go makes them realize what you brought to the table. You know, so let them go. You need to realize and don't worry, don't worry about relationships early on. Especially early on. Don't worry about just because they're moving on. You need to move on and all of that. Tit for tat. Don't worry about none of that. You don't play that sort of game. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But ultimately, you need to realize that the universe and God is in control. And it's his divine intervention that separated you from the narcissist. It was his divine intervention that took place that caused you two to separate. Gone are the days where you're going to be, you know, the, the person soaking up all the drama and pain and devaluation from the narcissist. Gone are those days. God said no more. The universe said no more. And that's often why they were led through a mirage to a shiny object or to greener pastures only to get over there in it's yellow grass you know what i'm saying you need to become tough as steel by understanding this you will become tough as steel by understanding this knowing it's a divine intervention no it's knowing it's sent from above you become tough as steel right and now you need to focus all your energy in your development right you need to focus it all inwardly. You need to be selfish, kind of like a narcissist. But we've given so much that we deserve a period of time when we focus all our energy on our development. You know, you will grow and evolve and become stronger. You'll become more resilient by focusing on you. Mentally, spiritually and physically, you will notice this. If you focus on these areas, mental areas, spiritual areas, physical areas, all of these things, right, will help you become the person you're going to destined to become. Focus on your business, you know, focus, don't worry about relationships, as I said before, don't worry about relationships. Now, by you focusing on these areas, self-love, self-healing, you know, focusing on your business, your side hustles, Focusing all your energy on that, taking it away from the narcissist which used to consume all your energy. This causes the narcissist to want in, you see. They're always keeping tabs on you. So when they see you doing well without you, they'll come with a hoover. And it's at this point that you door slam, bolt and weld shut. This enables the final nail in the coffin and leave them wanting part of what they can't have, you see. So by you enabling this door slam, enabling this no contact, after you've, you've clearly made it evident 
that you're self-healing you've evolved you've developed you 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 see this from a perspective of the divine intervention from god almighty or the universe you see this as something that was destined to happen they they want in you know they want in they want another chance of you they want another opportunity of you you see so keep focusing on yourself that's what i i will say the, the the thing that we do wrong early on in the relationship is we think focusing on what they're telling us the relationship ended about is the answer it's not the answer i've made the mistake i don't want you to live the same mistake that i've made if they're telling you oh it's because you you didn't console me it's because you didn't do this it's because you didn't do that all of this lies all of this fabricated you see i want you to focus on what's really important and what's really important after a discard or after they pushed you too far so you have to cut them off is focusing on yourself is focusing on self-love is focusing on your development it's focusing on your side hustles. It's focusing on your business. It's focusing on your work. You will get such a burst of energy once you stop focusing on them. Trust me, they're draining you. Of, they're draining you post discard. That's the problem. You see, there's three types of situations that can arise. Right? You can either say say stay stuck forever, wishing for the narcissist back. You can either get to this point that I'm telling you where you develop and you become like this and then when you get a hoover you fall for the victim of it and you fall for the trick and you end up going back with them. Or thirdly, it's door slamming, bolting and welding it shut. And I'll say you need to choose, choose the third option. You need to become the person that is so wanted but they can't have. You need to become that individual that's developed so much since she was with them that they want to be part of it. And as I said previously, right? Um, door slamming, bolting, and welding it shut is the final nail in the coffin. They'll be left wanting part of what they can't have. You see? You need to become part of what they can't have. All of these things that I've listed will help enable. The narcissist to want to be back in your life, right? But I'll say the only reason that we're teasing on this, right? The only reason that we're feeling is this, this temptation towards this area is so we can door slam them, right? I don't want you watching this video thinking, oh, he's telling me how to get the narcissist back in my life. Because if you get the narcissist back, you're going to be back to square one. You're going to be going through the abuse cycle again, the love bomb, all of that. You're going to be going through the whole cycle again, getting trauma bonded. It's long. You need to realize that this person is toxic. You need to leave them aside, right? You need to focus on yourself, right? I've spent a long time focusing on myself, learning, um, sticking my fingers in different pies, so to speak, trying to enhance my game, right? Become better, develop. This is what I want you lot to do as well. The one thing that I haven't, luckily I haven't fallen victim to is there was other people that was interested in relationships post-discard. And I kind of just turned the other way. I didn't want to go into that direction with those relationships. And I'm glad that I didn't fall into these other relationships because I would have never healed to the point I'm at. Now, you know, healing carries on forever. We're abuse victims. Abuse victims don't ultimately heal 100%. We can get to a point when, we, when we're able to, you know, the tears stop, the rumination stops, the stopping to being able to eat stops, and we, and, we, and we get to a point and we get well past that, you know. But honestly, for the rest of our days, we're always going to remember that we was damaged by this abuser, okay? But if you focus on these areas that I've mentioned in the video... You know, like not trying to fix things, letting them go. Realize God is in control and it's his divine intervention that separated you from the narcissist. Become tough as steel by understanding this, that it was all willed. You know, focus all your energy and development. 
grow and evolve, become stronger, become more resilient, focus on you mentally, spiritually and physically, focus on your business, focus on your work, don't worry about relationships too early on, this causes, all of these things cause the narcissist to want in, they'll always want to, they always keep tabs on you, remember that, you know, they're watching from afar, so when they see you doing well without them, they'll hoover, at this point it's when you need to use the third point that I made, and it's door slam, bolt and world shut. Final nail in the coffin. They'll be left wanting part of what they can't have. So I hope this video helps you. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you would like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I have the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. If you want to check that out, the link for that channel is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.